according to Ubo's data October 2022 to May 2023, annual headline and core inflation decreased to 6.2 percent and 5.6 percent in May 2023 from 8 percent and 6.8 percent in April 2023 respectively. Annual inflation for electricity, fuel and utilities eased to 0.9 percent in May from 2.1 percent in April 2023, where also food crop inflation decreased to 15.7 percent from 25.3 percent in May 2023, as well as inflation for goods, including imported items, declined to 7.4% in May from 8.8% in April 2023. For it's a great deal for inflation to decrease, high cost of living is still a challenge until medium-term objective of 5% inflation that is supportive of economic growth is achieved. The rate at which prices were rising in October was 10.2%. Now, the rate at which prices are, are rising in May 2023 is 6.2%. It does not mean to say that prices are coming down per se, but it is the rate at which the prices are increasing that is reducing. So that, that increase in the prices, the prices are still rising, but the rate is coming down. So it is still affecting the cost of living. And that's why we're saying that we need to bring down this inflation to the medium-term objective of 5%, which is supportive of economic growth of about 6 to 7%. In the, the basket of uh, the household consumption basket, you can see that there are some key items whose prices have come down, and therefore partly contributing the cost of living. However, on aggregate, we know that the basket, again, ha the prices have gone up on average, as we said, uh, by you know, 6 per, six percent in the, as of May. But overall, I think uh, there are some, uh, you know, I, wa I wanted to amplify that there are some items in the basket that are clearly pointing to the decline. Uh, rather than uh, uh, increasing. In line with Bank of Uganda, economic growth remains uncertain with potential balance risks, such as protected weak global growth and lower commodity prices constraining Uganda's export earnings, lower external financing which could restrict government expenditure and high public debt burden, weakening local currency limiting government borrowing capacity and slow foreign investment influence. However, MPC projects economic growth in range of 6 to 6.5 percent for financial year 20 2023-2024. The MPC projects economic growth in the range of 6 to 6.5 percent for the fiscal year 2023 stroke 2024. Economic growth is anticipated to return to its sustainable long-term trend in 2024 stroke 2025, bolstered by investments in oil-related infrastructure, the energy sector, transportation, and a recovery in the manufacturing and construction sectors. The committee's focus on addressing inflation, interest rates, and exchange rate stability demonstrates their commitment to maintaining a robust financial system that benefits businesses and citizens alike. Bronya Katsime, Smart24TV, Business Today.